Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a review of the Gold Planner GL AMT16. This is a very high quality IEM. Also, the price tag is very hefty, coming in at $14.99 uh, without a discount. The IEM is absolutely phenomenal, and it definitely showcases what the future could hold for IEMs with those AMT drivers. I think that the driver handles itself and presents sound in a way that is definitely very different in terms of its delivery than what we already have on the market, including dynamics, balanced armatures, etc. The AMT driver, which stands for Air Motion Transformer, in this particular IEM, almost sounds as though I'm wearing something along the lines of an HD 560s from Sennheiser. It is very good at presenting space in a way that you feel the amount of air in between you and that particular object. So almost like the HD 560s, let's say in Apex, when somebody's shooting at a distance, you really get a sense of how much distance is in between you and that particular object. The staging here for music related purposes is extremely good. I would say you're about one, two, three rows back from the stage. Um, but the imaging here is absolutely phenomenal and beautiful. The micro detail is absolutely insane. Just for instance, the track Nirvana Lithium, you're getting a very nice, lush, smooth, textured bass. It's almost like a referency type tuning, but one that remains fun because the bass actually is so smooth and textured. Um, and then when you start getting into those cymbal strikes, it's also uh, presented in a way that's very clean, very fast in attack, and just very smooth. It's an IEM that to me is very unique, again, in that sound presentation. I think that's definitely going to be the biggest factor in this particular IEM is just how that space is presented in a listening experience. And again, the micro detail with this particular driver is just absolutely insane. I mean, you hear everything from somebody getting closer to the microphone and having more distortion in the sound um, in their voice and, you know, people plucking on guitar strings or, um, you know, kind of stopping the bass hits or the rumble from the actual stick on a drum. You hear everything with such detail on this that it is just absolutely nutty from an entertainment standpoint and um, a gaming standpoint, which I'll certainly get into in a few seconds. In terms of the finish, it is an anodized aluminum alloy, which looks like it is at its relative price point. It's very smooth and the ergonomics of the shell are really nice, providing you with a very comfortable listening experience for gaming sessions as well as listening experiences, uh, which is great, especially if you're gonna use them for studio monitoring or actual editing work um, or you know long gameplay sessions. The unboxing experience is definitely second to none. This thing is definitely a $1,500 unboxing experience coming in in all wood packaging, which you kind of slide that bad boy out and then you're met with a nice Pelican case that houses the IEMs and an extra box that houses all the tips. You can see you get quite the array of tips with two sets of foam tips, two sets of silicone tips, and then you also have all of the connectors, which for the cable, you can interchange between 4.4, 3.5, and 2.5. Very easy to pull off, very easy to put back on. And the cable definitely is very high quality in this nice kind of brown copper toned finish, which I mean, I think it looks very nice. Nice lightweight cable and definitely a high quality cable that uh, fits the price tag of the IM, I think, fairly well. The Pelican case is quite nice as well. It's a nice added feature, a lot more than what you get with other Kilo Buck IEMs that I've personally purchased in the past. And it does have interchangeable nozzles. The one that I went with for gaming related purposes is the one that does not have a filter. Uh, it's the open one that is the larger of the two. And I did go with the Asla Sedna EarFit Max ear tips just to have that extra silicone little mesh looking net there so that things wouldn't fall into that open nozzle. For competitive gaming audio, these are really a showstopper. This might be one of the best things I've listened to, period, ever in my lifetime playing games in terms of competitive qualities. And I say that because not only do you kind of get this experience for an IEM that not only provides you a really nice emphasis for the things around you, but just this magnificent sense of spaciousness and airiness that you feel, again, kind of like the HD 560s, the distance between you and an object uh, out at a distance performing a particular audio cue. And I think that's really important because, again, it gets you this more adequate and more equipped sense of the immediacy of how quickly you need to pay attention to a certain audio cue. So if somebody is a little bit closer, if somebody's further, you really just 
get this immense sense of depth perception with these that is so accurate that I would definitely give the depth perception a 95 or 96 out of 100. In terms of verticality, another aspect of games that is very important, not only do you need, again, a 360 degree awareness of where people are, but you do need to have, can I hear them below me? And can I pinpoint and localize where they are below me? Can I pinpoint and localize where they are above me? This IEM does it absolutely flawlessly. I have zero issue with knowing if somebody is one floor, two floors, three floors above me, or if somebody is in heaven when I'm playing Valorant or uh, you know in window in CSGO and exactly where they might be. It does a phenomenal job across the board in tax shooters as well as games like Apex. Use them in CSGO, use them in Fortnite. Uh, everything that I've thrown at this IEM is absolutely amazing in terms of verticality and overall imaging which I would give a 95 or 96 out of 100. In terms of separation, I feel like everything could always be better in terms of separation, not only IEMs, but over-the-ear headphones as well. But for separation with that sense of airiness, when a lot of things are going on in Apex, grenades, ultimates, etc., not only do I have a great level of separation, but I'm still picking up micro detail around me, which is very unique and something that is extremely nice in an IEM or even an over-the-ear headphone. So for that reason, I would also give separation about a 94 or 95 out of 100. They are extremely good for competitive purposes, also extremely expensive. But again, you're not getting this experience that's going to turn you into a god. Don't worry about running out and paying this much money to get you know some sound experience, some sound advantage that is going to be this amazing thing that's going to transcend you to another level. Again, everything in my top five is extremely good. These are just appreciably better. I've tried a lot of IEMs, a lot of Kilobuck IEMs, the Monarch MK2, the Mest MK2, and others. And these are probably the first Kilobuck IEM that I would even remotely contemplate keeping because there is that appreciable difference. And just the sound delivery, I love for music and I love for gaming. These are definitely going to be my daily driver, and it's going to be very hard for anything to knock this out of the number one spot, both for over-the-ear headphones as well as IEMs. The AMT-16 is just an exceptionally good IEM, and in terms of just an overall gaming experience, one of the best I have ever tried, ever. So that is it for this one, guys. This is just really a showcase of that AMT driver. Hopefully we get AMT drivers in the future in a better priced package. If you're not somebody who can wait, if you really want to try an AMT driver, go ahead and uh, participate in the scientific experiment that I tried when doing this review. I absolutely love these. Again, my nozzle orientation was the nozzle that did not have a filter, the nozzle that was bigger without a filter, and the Asla Sunny Earthfit Maxes. And to test these, I had an A90D and a D90SE. I think these are absolutely phenomenal, beautiful for everything across the board, and I am extremely excited to see what AMT drivers bring in the future. I hope that helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.